I'm Maddie Lee, joined by Joe Masato after the Thunder's 125-110 to loss to the Los Angeles Lakers. That score would have been reasonable if LeBron James and Anthony Davis had played. They did not. Yeah, they, they did not play, and that's this one was a shocking result. I mean, a Thunder team that has played this Lakers team really tough in two games before, lost uh, both of them were within five-point margins. This one, the the 15-point end margin doesn't even do it justice. No. The Lakers led by as many as 32 without LeBron, without Anthony Davis, without Danny Green, another starter. And the Lakers, not only were they playing with a depleted roster, they were playing on the second night of a back-to-back. -back. Mm -hmm. They had played the Mavericks on Friday night. The Thunder practiced yesterday, but overall had a day of rest after that emotional win against the Rockets. So just everything looked like it would go the Thunder's way. Everything instead went the Lakers way. Yeah, absolutely. You had Kyle Kuzma and Rajon Rondo really going off for the whole game, but starting off in that first quarter, they really set the tone, jumped out to a big lead, and the Thunder had, A, no answer for them, and B, no answer for the entire Lakers team's three-point shooting. Yeah, the Lakers were 10 of 13 in the first half, and that's really what what made the – deficit so large to begin with the Thunder were two of 15 I think from three in the first half they finished nine of 31 the Lakers overall shot 15 of 32 37 47 percent um, from three uh, season highs for Kuzma season high for Rajon Rondo so just not a lot of defense and some really spectacular offense uh, surprisingly for the Lakers from who they had out there yeah they had a bunch of guys step up who aren't you usually starting and Thunder really coming out with a lack of energy. I mean, we saw them play so well and so locked in two nights ago against Houston, and it was almost as if they just used it all up then. Yeah, I mean, tonight really ended a really strong strong stretch for the Thunder. They had won 11 of 13 coming into this. The Lakers actually won their eighth in a row tonight, but um, – that the Thunder, we've mentioned that stat, the most win, the best record in the West since Thanksgiving. This was their first home loss of the new year, so Lakers changed a lot of things tonight. Yeah, not much <laughs> resistance from this Thunder team. They tried some things in late in the game, uh, even went to a small ball lineup with Daniil Gallinari playing center. He said, though, after the game that if he's playing center, something has gone wrong and... It sure had. He was very right about that. Yes. Something, something did go wrong for the Thunder. Many things. A lot of things went wrong. So uh, they will try to bounce back from this one in Minnesota yep. in a couple days. But first, enjoy post-game video from Daniel Gallinari, Chris Paul, and Shea Gilchrist Alexander. 